guys, it's your math person. Today I'll be going over question 40 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attended it, let's just dive right in. So, so they say this statement right here. Given a um, random variable x, the probability of the insurance payment, the insurance payment, I'm going to denote as y, insurance payment, <laughs> goodness, my handwriting, is less than 0.5 is equal to 0.64, right? And then we know that from, for it, if there is a deductible C, anything between 0 and C, the insurance payment is going to be 0 because everything is coming out of the customer's pocket. But from C to 1, that's the upper limit, the amount the insurance company is going to pay is going to be X, whatever the loss is, minus the deductible. So knowing that, we can just actually put this in terms of X. So then if this is equal to Y, I'm going to plug that in there, straight in there. X minus C is less than 0.5. Right, but then we can just bring the x to the, I mean plus c to the other side, so you get x is less than 0.5 plus c is equal to 0.64. Now this just becomes a really in easy continuous integral. X is less than 0.5 plus c. The lower limit here is going to be zero of this function right here, and this is equal to 0.64, and that's what they're telling you. And now we just solve this sucker out, so you, you get x squared with the upper limit being 0.5 plus c and lower limit being 0. When you plug in the upper limit, you get 0.5 plus c squared minus 0 is equal to 0.64. Solving this um, by foiling it, so 0.5 squared is 0.25. The, in the term on the inside is going to be 0.5 plus 0.5, which is just 1 plus c squared is equal to 0.64. Bring the c 0.64 on the other side, you get c squared plus c plus, oh no, it's going to be minus, minus 0.64 minus 0.25, which is 0.39 is equal to zero. And now this just becomes a quadratic formula. Remembering, do you remember the quadratic formula? It, given it's like ax squared plus bx plus c, it is equal to um, x's are equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So using that, b is our c here, so it's going to be negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4ac, negative 0.39, <laughs> divided by 2a. Okay, so plugging that into my calculator, my two answers are 0.3 and negative 1.3. And that's because we, we have two solutions because this is a plus or minus. But then we know that C has to be between 0 and 1. So that only le we can eliminate this answer, leaving us with the point 3, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.